but pulls up her dribble high at the elbow. Shot clock down to six. Ball got tipped away. Picking it up is Skidmore at the other end. Lays it up and in, and she's fouled. Skidmore got the steal, had the breakaway, got fouled by Melissa Hoke, and scores the basket anyway. And each team with two offensive boards. Wittenberg is led by as many as three. Oberlin's largest lead is two. Off the inbound, little floater outside the lane. Amy Carpenter scores. Good 10-10 tie game, 9.23 left in the half. First miss in the lane, second miss in the lane, both by Replogle after getting an offensive board. Now Carpenter will shoot one from 18 feet out, and she scores. Out on the right wing, Amy Carpenter hits it, and it's 12-10 Wittenberg. 13-12 lead, 7.33 to go. Here's a three ball by Lara that's good. Amber Lara. The freshman starter from Oak Park, Illinois, answering with a triple. 15-13 Tigers. Hoke turns and gives it to Gannon, who wanted to drive, but simply had it stripped away by Clark, who goes all the way to the bucket and lays it in. Great job by Lindsey Clark. It'll be Small who has it. Hustles into the front court. Tried to dish it for Bell. It got tipped. Bell does get it. Sends it out for Small, and she shoots the three. No, it's a two, but makes it. Really, one instance we've had it, but here in the second half, it's been three or four. Four times, I believe, now and we've had to stop playing. In the first five minutes here. Here's a three from Sarah Watson. Doesn't matter. Clark, around to the right side. Rep logo starts to drive, turns, sends it back out. Clark's going to shoot a three and hit it. That's a big three by Lindsey Clark. Oberlin was within two until that shot right there. So Wittenberg is going to have to bring their A game if they want to knock off Worcester. Inbound pass goes to Clark, and she's going to score in the lane. Lindsey Clark off the inbound. Makes it look easy. The five here, there's only two-tenths of a second difference between game clock and shot clock. Looking at a three and shooting it, however, is Amber Rice, and she drills it. Rice figured, what the heck? I've got an open three. I might as well take it since I'm in the game, and she knocks it down. So the Tigers now lead 67-50. to 50.